Commit characters in VS Code are a set of characters that accept the current completion when typed. For example, if your current language treats period as a commit character, then typing a period would both accept the current completion and then let you continue on with the property access. This can be a small time saver. Now, the exact set of commit characters varies based on whatever language you're working in, and they have to be enabled uh, by the language's IntelliSense, but let's go and take a look at commit characters in JavaScript and TypeScript for VS Code. Now, say that I wanted to use the localize function here. I'm just going to start typing, so I'll say LO here, and you can see that the IntelliSense is suggesting the localize function. Now, if I actually wanted to access a property on the localize function, I would have to press enter and then a period to actually start the property access. Now, instead, I could use commit characters to save some time. So I'm just going to type period here, and you can see that it has actually accepted that completion and then started with the property access automatically. So now I'm seeing all of the properties of the localized function here. That is because period is being treated as a commit character. Now, another commit character is the starting uh, parentheses of the function call. So if I just undo this, go back here, I'll type LO again. And if I wanted to start a function call here, I could just type in open paren to start the function call. And you can see that it both has accepted the completion here and then started the function call. So now it is actually showing the arguments for the function uh, for the localized function here. Again, that is because the open paren is being treated as a, as a commit character for this function. Now, again, the exact set of commit characters varies based on whatever language you're working in. For JavaScript and TypeScript, the two most common ones are period and then open paren. You can also disable commit characters if you find them getting in the way. So to disable commit characters, just open up the settings with control comma or command comma, and then search for commit character. And you want the editor accept suggestion on commit's character setting. Now, again, it is enabled by default, but if we turn this off, then commit characters will not be used. So I'm going to go back to the example we had before, do LO here, and then if I type a period, you can see it just has inserted the period. It has not gone and uh, start, accepted the suggestion or anything like that. And the same would happen with the open paren. It would just insert the open paren without touching the uh, current suggestion. You would have to accept that suggestion with enter or tab instead. So that's a look at commit characters for VS Code's IntelliSense. Once you get used to using them, they can be a real time saver.